Hi guys, we got a quick, quick, quick story here. New developing information here. And I know it's almost like, why are you telling my business? And I'm in response to saying, because it's scandalous. Yes, and it's gonna be marvelous. Now, as you can definitely see, that's love, 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 all day, every day, anytime you want to play. That's the essence of love. I can't say if it's reciprocated on both ends all the time, but in my heart of hearts, I believe they genuinely loved each other at one time. And I think Greg just continued on loving her. He just knew he was getting old, couldn't keep up. So he's been pretty much letting her do what she wanted to do. Because you remember she was so-called messing with somebody in Baltimore. And he was supposed to be in a little fling for her. That's just hearsay, allegedly. We don't know. That's just the streets talking, okay? And if you answer back, <laughs> that may be like a hit dog will holler. And we might need to investigate that a little further. But child, they are saying out on those social media streets that this man um, is supposed to be married. All right? And as we know, Nene was married. And she was around here telling Kim Zoziak, close your man, close your legs to married men. Okay? Now, okay. You see the love in those pictures of Nene and Greg Leakes. When you look at the pictures of this man she's supposed to be messing with, there's no love. Only thing you see in those pictures with that man, uh, I think his name is S, I can't pronounce it, NS we're going to call him. Because I want to call him Nione is what I want to call him, but I don't think that's his name. Might be his name for short. But they're trying to say Miss Cynthia Bailey said Nene leaks up with Naomi. Naomi. Not, y'all know what I'm saying. I'm like, when did Cynthia Bailey come back in the picture? When did Cynthia Bailey and Nene start talking? Is this a fictitious type storyline that um, Nene is putting out there to get more notoriety and to drive up her fan base as an interesting subject that could come back to Bravo? That is the question that's being answered. I mean, that's the question that's being needing to be answered. Because that's the question that's being posed out there. What the hell is Nene doing with a married man? Now, I reported on my last video from sources. Credible sources that said he was set up by Peter Thomas. That's supposed to be uh, Peter Thomas' friend, constituent, cohort. All right. Known him for a while. He's in the business, has his own clothing couture type suit line. And he has um, an office space in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. Now, it's being reported by the guru, TMZ. And this, well, what's the other one? Yahoo News. That Cynthia Bailey is in the triangle here now. And she was supposedly have set Nene up. With not only, not only, whatever. Okay, y'all know who I'm talking about. And I'm like, <sighs> Nene, if this is a fictitious storyline you done got out of here, go got in this public to drive up your fan base again. So maybe you can go and try to negotiate with Bravo or True Original Entertainment. Is that what you're trying to do, Nene? And I'm thinking the door is closed on that idea. But I think she solicited this man. I don't care which way he came from. But I think she knew he was married. And she just wanted to play up a storyline to get people talking about her. In a different light. Other than feeling, feeling sorry for her. And her antics she plays out here on these streets. But you know everybody's giving her the benefit of the doubt. I'm giving her one year at least to straighten up, fly right, and try to start making some money for herself. Because quiet as it kept, a lot of them speak it out. You got bills, Nene. You got bills. The house is not selling over there, which it needs to be selling. That seems to be where you need to be putting all your energy towards. Instead of coming out here and trying to get you a suitor that looks like he's your best friend, your cousin, family member to that degree. That don't look like no love. They just look like respect. And um, just a person, you know, 
you want to kick it with or you have kicked it with but it ain't no romanticism going on there that look like a friendship or a friendly pose a selfie they don't seem like no romance and in the pictures they were showing us that they had taken at her birthday party that her son brent had um uh, thrown for her at her or oh, both of their lanethia's lounge yeah he is a looker but i think he's a stage prop piece Almost like how I felt about Kenya Moore and Mark Daly getting married. It was a contractual agreement. And I believe Nene has hired the man. Because one thing I do know. There's separation and then there's divorce. Okay. And separations under the law is meaning you're still legally tied to that person you said you want to spend the rest of your life with. Especially if it was notarized, signed, sealed by a judge. And you were presenting a marriage certificate. The only way that's going to get you out of that marriage. If that person dies. Either the male or the female. Or the, or, you know, the, re, the union. And that sets you free. To properly go marry somebody else. If that's your, your choice. But to legally separate somebody from somebody. Or not legally separate from somebody. You're still married. In the eyes of the law. And in God's sight. You're still married. All right, so this man, I feel he's just a businessman. He's a playboy. And from what I understand, they say he has an open marriage. Uh, he was in an open marriage with his current wife. But for whatever reason, they separated. And I guess she went her way for a while and he went his way for a while. But who's to say that something don't kindle back up down the road uh, with the two people that are separated, man, meaning him and his wife, uh, and his wife, you're going to be looking like a total nut. And you're going to be questioning yourself, or how did you miss this? How did you get yourself in this situation? Because just like you didn't want nobody to separate you from Greg, uh, I'm sure that man's wife feels the same way. Maybe she's hoping he'll come back, want to see her in the light that they once saw each other in they ended up getting married you know i know things fade and then you should be basically telling yourself that not kim because kim been married for a long time with the same guy and it's not big papa okay and we're all just speculating princess over there just speculating to see when you're gonna tell us the truth about this man because like i said you love posting that filtered out selfie of yourself that's why i said then you want to be white She's a, a black woman in a black body, but she lives to be of the Caucasian type persuasion. She wants the people to respect her and see her as such. And I just don't think she just likes being her color. That's it. That's all. And that's no more on that subject. Just my opinion. But I think it's just a smoke screen. I think Nene just giving us something to talk about and maybe have the Bravo execs over there at True Original to see how she's building up her popularity base again. And, you know, it's all, you know, people want to be around people that are well known, they're celebrities. They just want to be a part of them or have a piece of them. But I, you won't, I can't believe that Cynthia Bailey introduced this man to nini and it's very strange that cynthia and nini had a very good relationship and peter and her had a good nice relationship too until she called him a bitch on one of those shows okay and told him to stay out of women's business and of course now they supposed to be best buds and on the other hand they're saying peter introduced his lifelong friend or associate to nini leaks I'm like Nene, if you don't watch your pockets, baby, and worry about that house sale over there, it's okay to sit there and date or just go with somebody because you want companionship. But don't be saying, oh, this is my man, this is my man, and he's not yours because he's somebody else's, okay? You know how that song goes, your body's here with me, but your mind is on the other side of town. You're missing me around. Well, who's to say that lady won't gather enough evidence on Naomi or NS 
to say, okay, uh, you did this, that, and this third with this person, and one of them is an actual celebrity running out around now, a reality star. Her name is Nene Leagues, and I have all the information I need because y'all were posting pictures, y'all were hanging out together, and God knows you wasn't coming here. And you know, she might got a private investigator, and you know, if. Mr. NS want to sneak up there to wherever Nene is staying now. If she's not staying in that home, she's trying to sell. You know, she might got private investigators saying, yeah, he, he, he slept over there a couple of nights, you know. She may be building a case on that man. He may not know nothing about it. Or maybe they have a relationship where they can never divorce each other. They won't divorce each other. But they're going to live separate lives and be a part of another relationship. And they're both going to be ingredients that um, they can do it. They can do it just as long as they probably don't bring the children in it. And at their age, I don't think they're probably looking to do children. Okay. But like I said, she holding on to him. But that man ain't paying her no attention. He ain't trying to smack that uh, butt or press up on her to give her a little kiss on the cheek or the lips. Ain't none of that. None of that is happening in those photos. But y'all tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think this is a uh, elaborate scheme? Elaborate scheme. Yeah, an elaborate scheme. Damn scheme. To in tongue twisted. To get Nene back out there and people talking about her, whether it's good or bad or indifferent, they're talking about her. But I'm like, mm, well, Nene, you don't have any kids, but you do have a granddaughter. Um. Mm, that's a hard that's a hard one because you got to live your life and a lot of people want to see you redo uh yourself or revamp yourself in all areas your business side and your personal relationship side we don't want you to go be dating no man who states he has an open marriage i mean he's never gonna be true to you never gonna be true to you and he's gonna throw up in your face one day when you think you're trying to get too personal, you want to be the only woman in his life, he going to tell you. You knew what the game was prior to coming in here. You knew I had a wife. You knew I was not allegedly going to divorce her. So what are you talking about? About you want me to do this woman? She ain't going nowhere because I ain't finna pay her. I'm not finna pay her. I like the relationship that we have. The freedom that it allows me to be myself and to be with other women if I choose to. Just as long as no babies are brought in the picture. Okay. And definitely no sexual transmitted diseases coming back to my uh, wife. Okay. So it's almost like he's saying you're going to respect my wife. You're going to respect what we have developed amongst us two. And that you will always be the side chick. I'll get to you when I can get to you. I, when I can see you, I'll see you. But don't make no demands. Because you're going to be finding yourself high and dry. Now this is what I'm picturing that man is telling Nene. Instead of Nene focusing on selling that house. Okay. And stacking her money back. And getting back into the business that it seems like she enjoys so much. It's the entertainment field. She need to be knocking down some doors. Taking some acting acting classes from pros. You know, go get you an acting coach. Get out there and do the darn thing. Like Candy's running around now. Being on different uh, shows. She's producing. Uh, she's probably going to get her spinoff with the OLG thing. I don't know how that's working out. But I'm sure that's going to be a hoot. It's going to be kind of distasteful because she's going to put her family on the chopping block again for us to try and evaluate them. And if they need to be, you know, handled in a way where we don't agree with certain behaviors that they're having, so let her have. They are part of the game. They knew. They know what it takes to make Ratchet TV and the follow-ups you're going to have with social media um, and the bloggers and how they feel a certain thing was um, a certain way a certain scene was being filmed and they're going to get their perspectives on it even though in fairness the girls do say on the real housewives of atlanta they couldn't edit to their advantage and not necessarily the people that are actually going through the situation meaning you know candy or kenya or cynthia at the time marlo because we you know we need marlo to come with it I mean, she's been coming with it as a friend, but now it's another whole 
uh, table that she's going to be sitting at where she got to decide if she's going to take the lead or she's going to blend in and let Kenya take the lead since technically she's been, you know, her and uh, Kenya have been the steady ones with their peaches. And, of course, Kenya just got her peach back from bringing in that horrible storyline of her having a husband, okay? And then, like I said, even if it was true and her and Mark did have an actual marriage, who want to be married to that kind of nut? He was a big narcissist. He didn't want to do this. He didn't want to do that. And I can't blame him. He didn't want Brooklyn on the show. I can't blame him on that, on that aspect because you just have them doing too much on TV. and <sighs> You just don't want your child to be a part of a lot of things in the entertainment field. We're just going to leave it at that. Okay, but again, like I said, I think Nene just want to be white because why would she choose the most lightest makeup you can possibly find on her pretty mocha chocolate skin? Why would she want to be in the, uh, what, how we can call it, uh, oh, like a flower, like a daffodil? No, that's not really light, like white. I guess white as snow, but with a little tan to it. But let's get on into this article that Yahoo and the Guru and it seems like TMZ was reporting on this story that Cynthia Bailey gave the okay and to set Nene up with somebody she knew back in the day or somewhere. But anyway, Beba Adams wrote the article up. It says in the captions as an exclusive, Nene Leakes reportedly dating businessman we y'all know his name ns after losing husband okay greg died in september i think september 1st here we are in december almost going out of december so you're talking october november two and a half months almost three some people will find that very amusing to think uh you just lost your husband Two and a half months ago. And you talking about you want a relationship. You want to be in a relationship. And that you've known this man for quite some time. It has people to wonder. Uh, were you creeping behind the scenes? Were you creep creep? In my Luther boy, Luther Vandross voice. Creep 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 creep. Creep 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 creep. Were you creeping out down Nene? While uh, your husband's at home fighting cancer. Going through emotional turmoil. Because he didn't know when his last day was going to be. Girl, were you out there creeping? Okay. Or were you out there creeping before Greg was announced with having cancer? You know, when you called, you were divorcing him and this, that, and the third. and You didn't want to be married to Greg anymore. Were you cheating then, Nene? Make it make sense. Because if I felt that if that was truly the case, you wouldn't have kept that man. He's too nice looking. And he's a very sharp dresser. You wouldn't have kept him no secret. That's why I have to go with my first gut feeling. This is a stage scene. You want to put notoriety out there where you become the face of America's talking about you. Whether it be bad, good, or indifferent. You want the smoke. You want everybody talking about you. So you can use it possibly as a negotiation tool of your fan base is XYZ and you will make good reality TV um, and whatever limelight they may want to put you in. It may not be with Bravo. It may not be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. It may be some other opportunity because when you have large numbers and it seems like people uh, gravitate to whatever you're doing or showing out in social media, they think you can help their business and you can teach or I should say convince your followers or your fans or your admirers or whatever you're doing. You can convince them to either watch a television show that you're starring in. Um, you can sell their products and with them loving you so much, they would want to buy it as well. Even just to try it or just to support you. So it's a lot of marketing strategies. And like I said, I really think he's just a playboy. He wants to be a playboy. He talked it out with his wife. He want to be an eligible, somewhat bachelor. And they made the agreement to go each other 
uh, have each other and go their separate ways. But keep in mind that you're not getting divorced. I'm not di- 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 ah, dividing up my money in case it does go south. And you always be mine, okay? But you can go screw, hang out, date, wine and dine, all you want. Just don't bring nothing back to me and don't bring no children home. That's probably what his wife said or they had an agreement on. But going back to the article, it says the Leaks were married for 24 years and Greg became publicly known over the 12 seasons of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, The Real Housewives of Atlanta alum Nene Leaks is reportedly dating again after losing her husband Greg Leaks to colon cancer earlier this year. If anybody leaked out that information, I'm pretty sure it was Nene Leaks uh, to the public, to the YouTubers, to the bloggers, you know, wherever she can pin her information. Or she could have had people in her camp, if she has any at this time, to go out there and spread that lie that she's messing around with a married man. That should be salacious. That should be storytelling. That should sell something out there. Um, but going back to the office, Lord, going back to the article. It says, according to a TMZ report, the reality TV star is seeing businessman N.S. He hails from Liberia, Africa, and is the owner of a couture suit company in Charlotte, North Carolina. TMZ says the two were introduced by the friend and fellow castmate member, Cynthia Bailey. Okay, and I'm like, Cynthia Bailey? When did her and Cynthia Bailey start back speaking? When did her and Cynthia Bailey bury the hatchet? Because last time I checked, Nene was dogging her out on social media for not coming to the repast of her deceased husband. Nene was dogging her because she needed to and wanted to and always wanted to make Cynthia suffer if she didn't kiss her butt. They fell out. Prior to um, Cynthia getting married. And she wanted Nene to be at her wedding. But Nene was a no-show. So I'm trying to figure out. What's the timeline. On this man coming into Nene's life. And this when the storyline actually hit out. That she was um, going with a married man. Who happens to be separated from his wife. But is allegedly known to have an open relationship within his marriage so (laughs) that's enough that's enough to drive anybody batty and with nene being so vulnerable she's just not looking at it from a clear scope she's listening and looking at it in these rose colored glasses but she needs to take those glasses off and deal with what is actually what okay and again i don't believe the hype that Cynthia set them up. It would be more believable. That. Peter set them up. Versus Cynthia Bailey. Okay. Because she can't even get her and Mike straightened out. Magic Mike. Okay. Mike on the microphone. Whatever. Can't even get him straightened out. So how are we going to be. With the understanding that Cynthia Bailey. Set up Nene Leakes. With this. Liberian type of fella Mm-mm. nope i don't believe it but anyway guys that's all i had for this particular video if you like it love it gotta have more don't hesitate but to subscribe to the channel and you can hit that notification bell button bu- uh notification bell button and you'll be notified when i drop out scandalous news okay that you can use if you partake in this type of forum and um, definitely subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That helps me. It, you know, it lets me know that y'all like what I'm talking about. Or y'all can comprehend and empathize with where I'm coming from. You know, you can see my perspective maybe a little flawed in your eyes. But then you can come down in those comments and tell me what you felt about the situation or whatever topic or video you're watching that I put out there. Or you can definitely like my videos and share my videos but i would love it for you to do all three but if you have to pick and choose choose your best one (laughs) okay and i will see you guys in the next video take care bye bye